The next award category is the Tolly and Cleo Martin Spirit of Partnership Award. Um, and I'm gonna have Yvonne Thomas come up to present the awardee. Give it up for Yvonne. Good evening, everyone. I want to thank you all for coming out tonight. You all know that you're part of the Sold Out Crowd. Sold Out Crowd. I stand before you tonight as a proud past president of this branch and as a professional journalist by trade. I live my life by an ethical journalistic code, and when I see that code being abused, violated, and utilized to intentionally inflict harm on an organization that I hold dear to my heart, well, then it becomes personal. Lesson number one in journalism is to verify information from sources before reporting it as a fact. And we take very seriously when false accusations of censorship about us are accepted as the truth. Let me be very clear. When you come for one of our own, and when you come for our branch, we will always stand together. We will wrap our arms around and protect when any one of us are under attack. When you come for one of us, you come for us all. The Monterey County NAACP has weathered many storms in the past, and our ancestors have prepared us well to stand up for what is right. We as a people are still haunted by painful reminders of the lynchings and cross burnings by the KKK because of somebody's false accusations. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, though. So believe me when I tell you that we are well equipped to handle a little unsubstantiated yellow journalism by the local press. I am here to present an award about partnership during a time when our branch is being faced with both internal and external divisiveness. But this also offers a unique opportunity for us to strengthen the bond. We prefer to focus on the support we receive from those of you in attendance here tonight rather than dwell on the surprising absences of a few who we believed were our allies. I've learned the difficult lesson that the devil often wears many disguises. Oh, yeah. And if he ever reveal, reveals his identity to you, make sure you believe him. <laughs> Colin and Cleo Martin were both life members of the Monterey NAACP. Their legacy of hard work and philanthropy on the Monterey Peninsula makes it most fitting for the Spirit of Partnership Award to be named in their honor. We know that acting as a true partner and providing support to an organization is so much more than simply writing a check. Chevron Corporation has been a supporter of the Monterey County NAACP for the past four years and has been the presenting sponsor of this banquet for the last three. And in the true spirit of this award, they have facilitated some new partnerships for the branch, like Matsui Nursery, who has so graciously donated the beautiful orchid centerpieces on your tables for the last two years, and KION TV, who agreed to provide in kind media sponsorship television ads. The partnership between our branch and Chevron has never been politicized or used for exploitative purposes. That is why it is both an honor and a privilege for me to present the Talia Cleo Martin Spirit of Partnership Award to my colleague and my friend, Andrea Bailey and the Chevron Corporation. <laughs> Andrea Bailey was the Senior Public Affairs Representative for the San Joaquin Valley Business Unit working in Monterey and Fresno counties as part of the Chevron Corporate Affairs team. In this role, Andre was responsible for developing and implementing their social investment strategy, developing their community and stakeholder engagement strategies, government affairs, 
and managing community relationships. She also worked closely with local nonprofits, helping them serve their causes and communities while creating and building relationships that link resources with organizational needs through sustainable models that build capacity and maximize effectiveness. As a part of her work in Monterey County and their local community, Andrea served on the following boards. The Salinas Valley Leadership Group, Hartnell College Foundation Executive Committee, Boys and Girls Club of Monterey County Executive Committee, NAACP Monterey County Chapter Executive Committee, Fresno Chamber PAC, Fresno Council of Business Sponsors, and the Hartnell College President's STEM Task Force, and a former member of the Hartnell College President's Strategic Planning Force. After serving on the Salinas Valley Chamber of Commerce Executive Committee and past chair for five years, Andrea resigned her position at the end of 2023 because of a temporary assignment out of the area. In her past role as, an, as a community engagement manager for Chevron in Richmond, Andrea created and successfully led a community revitalization initiative called Equip Richmond, a $15.5 million investment in Richmond to create jobs, grow small businesses, expand job training opportunities, and improve schools and access to quality education. The Community Revitalization Initiative focused on economic development and STEM education and was the company's largest single investment in the Bay Area. Andrea started at Chevron in August 2009 and joined the corporate affairs team with over 15 years of nonprofit experience and an extensive background in fundraising, capital campaigns, board and donor development, grant management, as well as organizational and strategic planning. Prior to joining Chevron, Andrea worked at the American Red Cross and ultimately became the CEO for Contra Costa County. Her work in the Red Cross sparked a strong desire to work directly with nonprofits in developing funding and program strategies. So after eight years, Andrea left the Red Cross and started her own company, the Nonprofit Development Group. The Nonprofit Development Group provided consulting services to nonprofit organizations in the areas of strategic management, fundraising, board development and governance, volunteer recruitment, management and retention, donor development, training workshops, as well as special and annual campaigns. Recently, Andrea accepted a new position with Chevron that has taken her back to the Bay Area. In her new role, she is managing high priority issues and engaging with regional gov government officials and agencies. She is responsible for developing and executing a corporate affairs strategy in local economic development, community engagement, stakeholder relationships, issue management, and communications leads emergency response training and activities. 2024 is shaping up to truly be the year of amazing women, not only in Washington, D.C., but right here at home. And tonight, we honor Andrea Bailey for her extraordinary work in our community and her dedication and commitment to the Monterey County in AAC. Andrea as a native daughter of this community. She was here for over six years 
and I know that she struggled in her decision to move back to the Bay Area when the opportunity presented itself. But it is an opportunity she could not pass up, let me tell you. So through Andrea's work in this community, she was able to forge that partnership between Chef Vaughn and the Monterey County branch of the NAACP. I've shared with some of you all this evening that I'm from New Orleans. I'm a proud New Orleanian. And it just so happens this morning I was listening to NPR, National Public Radio, and they were doing a segment on New Orleans, and they asked, they were taking a poll of who the most notable New Orleanian is. Anyone want to take a guess? One the poll? No, I haven't heard the answer yet. Oh, the copy's good, but no. Louis Armstrong. <laughs> he moved to New York eventually, and that's where he died, but yes, he was a famous trumpeter, trumpeteer, and jazz artist. But what got me thinking when I heard that word, this week I've been preparing for this engagement, and I've been thinking about the Martins a lot. And the word, I have been thinking about the word notable. And so this morning when I heard the NPR and I heard the word notable again, I said, oh, yes, I need to acknowledge that. And so I want to just call out the Martins, who this award is named after, for their notable impact in this community as a part of the NAACP family. So on behalf of Chevron and Andrea, I'm proud to accept this award. At Chevron, we partner and invest in youth, education, economic development, and health. So I'm proud of the partnership we have with the Monterey County of the NAACP, and I look forward to continuing to work together to secure a brighter future for all.